Hello there, I'm Rob Zulf, and today I'm going to show you how to convert your Minecraft Pocket Edition world to either creative or survival. This works on both an iPhone or an Android device, and iPads as well. To start off with, we need to go to my website, robzulf.co.uk, go to Tools, Downloads, I'm going to click on Minecraft Pocket Edition Game Mode Switcher. It's going to come up, and we're going to click on Download. And we'll save this in downloads. And if you get this error, uh, just ignore it. Click here and press keep, even though it's just off the recording. Press keep. And I'm going to click it and open it. And now we want to open this program here. If we get an error about not having something installed, uh, you need to install this, the .NET Framework for you probably should have this anyway because there's a lot of programs use it these days. And so we've got this open. And the way Minecraft PE World works, you've got a few files stored on the on your phone or Android device that control how the world is set up. So there's a file called level.dat, which contains information about what type the world is, whether it's survival or creative. And that file is stored on your device, so we need to get it off the device and put it on the computer. If you're an iPhone, you need to do this with some software called iFunbox. So we'll go to iFunbox.com, download for Windows, and then latest version, click on .exe, and just install it, and it'll be good to go. I already have it installed, here it is. And you can see my phone is plugged into the computer, and it shows up here, our iPhone, iPhone 5. We'll go to iPhone Box Classic at the top. U user Applications. Uh, Minecraft PE. Documents. Games. Com.mojang. Minecraft Worlds. Here are my worlds. Now, if you go to Help in this program, you can choose which device you have, and it'll give you these instructions as well. So we're here, and I'm going to change. Let's change uh, R and K. So we'll open this, and you can see here's that file, level.dat. We'll click it and choose Copy to PC. I'm going to make a folder on the desktop, and call, and call it R and K. That's the name of my world. And we'll press Open and save it in here. And that's now copied this level.dat file from my phone to my computer. So if we go back to this NCPE game mode switcher, we can click open level or dat and we can browse to it on the desktop. Here it is, R and K. And there's the file I copied over, you see? That's that file on my phone. It's now copied onto my computer. So we'll click open. And it's going to say your world is called R and K. Now choose which game mode to switch to. The current game mode is survival. And it creates a backup of the old level.dat file, which is this file has been created, which is an, an exact copy of this, which has a different name on the end. So we'll close that. And we want it to be creative, so we'll click creative on here. We'll change to creative, now copy the file back to a device. So I'm going to go copy from PC. I'm going to browse to that new level.dat file. So this file, this is the old file, which is survival. This is the new one, which is creative. So we'll click open. And that's now been copied over to the phone. So now the world is creative, and I'll put a screenshot on the uh, on this video to show you. And that's it, you're done. If you ever want to go back to uh, the other mode, just copy that file over again. Open this, open the level.dat file and you can see it says it's creative so you just click survival and it'll change about to survival so we're done that's it thank you very much for watching if you've got any questions or queries please leave them in the comments below i will put this link in the description along with the iphone box link and the dot net framework link uh, that's it thank you very much for watching we'll see you next time bye bye <laughs>